Hello there, this is Alan with EnviroMeasures Outstanding in the Field and uh, just wanted to give you an update on the blue barrel system that was installed a couple uh, months ago um, and they are definitely full of water um, from all that wonderful rain that we had in Southern California and uh, just wanted to demonstrate that um, you know you can hook a hose up to this thing and also put a timer in and uh, integrate it in to your gray water system if you wanted to. So that's a gray water system, that's the G-Flow, which I've, um, uh, d I've done some segments uh, on. And uh, so we could actually put a hard line into there. And if you put a timer on while you're on vacation, you can actually utilize this gray water system, which there's drip line uh, for three different zones. Um, you can utilize it, the gray water system while you're not producing gray water while you're on vacation, if that makes any sense. And now we can also go to these happy chickens because uh, here we go. I'm gonna go see the chickens. Um, so here's the other, let's see if we can get in here. Uh, how do we get in this thing? Come on, here we go. Woohoo! Alright, it's got an interesting lock on it. So, hello little guy. Boop, 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 boop. So, we have a chicken watering system and it's hooked up to another set of blue barrels. And um, so the chickens are actually drinking rainwater. Okay, and they're all happy, and the doves and the pigeons. They all seem to be very, very happy. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> I thought you would like to see that. Um, that rainwater can be used for a number of things. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have anything to feed you. Anyway, so here we go. So we're gonna go up and check out this other system that we installed, or I installed, whichever. And uh, so there you go. So it's actually stubbed out um, to put another set of barrels here too. So we can always expand this system. And uh, so it's looking pretty good. This isn't exactly level like I would, would, would have liked it to be. However, everything's full. And we're utilizing the roof from this chicken coop to actually water the chickens. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. Um, and also, ooh, if you wanted to, there's another uh, irrigation line here, um, or a hose rather, but this is a potential irrigation point where you can um, tap into uh, a drip line or something like that and put a little timer on it, whatever you need. And you can use this for irrigation as well. All right, so, and as a matter of fact, I'd probably recommend that for this walnut right here. So, probably needs a little bit of help, even though it's gotten all this rain. Um, so anyway, I'm just rambling now. So thank you for tuning in. This is Alan with EnviroMeasures, outstanding in the field.